Hello everyone, I am Anup Chiryan, I am a researcher at Merle and today I am going to present our work on InSegan, which is a generative model for segmenting near identical object instances in depth images. This is joint work with my intern Gonzalo Pace from the University of Lisbon and my Merle colleagues Siddharth Tim Mandelin. Suppose you are given a bunch of paper clips and are asked to pick one instance. Humans can do this effortlessly, even in clutter, because we have an idea of what a single paper clip would be and thus disentangle an instance from the clutter. How can a robot do the same, especially to pick instances when there are no label training data or 3D object CAT models? Such an instance segmentation problem appears in several situations such as picking an apple or a screw from a box and one can see instances of this problem almost everywhere in daily life. In this paper, we propose an approach for unsupervised instance segmentation that takes as input a depth image consisting of multiple instances of an object and the goal is to produce instance segmentation masks for each instance. We assume to have access to a collection of depth images. Further, the object is assumed rigid, but it can have varied poses and may be occluded. Again, follows an analysis by synthesis approach. For synthesis, we train a generator that takes as input vectors of noise that represent the pose parameters and learns to generate multiple instance depth images. Our analysis module or encoder learns to take in a synthesized depth image and produce the parameters of the instances that generated the image. When well trained, the GAN will synthesize depth images that look realistic and the encoder module will know how to disentangle the instances from it. Now let us describe our GAN architecture. Rather than taking a single random noise vector as input as in standard GAN approaches, InSegan takes n random noise vectors denoted z where n is the number of instances that we assume the depth images have. The generator then converts each zi into a pose vector for an object instance in the to be rendered depth image. For this, it uses an implicit object template, which is a 3D latent tensor that is also learned along the way. The pose vector is applied to the template and projected to 2D to produce a feature map for a single object instance. These steps are repeated n times to generate n such object feature vectors, which are then agglomerated via average pooling and rendered via a depth image renderer CNN to produce a multiple instance depth image. The distribution of such generated images is then discriminated against the, the in real input depth images. The analysis module in InSegan takes as input a multiple instance depth image generated by the synthesis module and produce encoded post vectors that can reproduce the depth image. There can be an arbitrary permutation allowed for the encoded poses. To ensure the encoded poses, that is z hat, match the input random vector z, we use an optimal transport based alignment between the two sets. We also add a loss on the reconstructed pose vectors z hat. However, comparing pose vectors directly is tricky due to symmetries of the object. Instead, we forward propagate the decoded pose vectors through the generative module, thereby producing a new depth image. This new depth image is compared to the depth image generated in the previous step via an L1 loss. At test time, when given a depth image consisting of multiple instances of the object, the, in the instance pose encoder is used to produce Z hats capturing the pose of every instance and then render the instances one at a time using the depth renderer. The single instances produced are then pooled along the depth axis and converted to instance masks. To empirically evaluate InSegan, we created a novel synthetic dataset using a physics engine which we called Insta10. It consists of nearly 100,000 depth images. Each image has 5 instances of 1 of 10 CAD models. We also created a real-world dataset using a fetch robot by shaking a bin with blocks. We compare InSegan against state-of-the-art approaches on these synthetic and real-world datasets. Our experiments show that InSegan is about 6% better than its closest deep learning counterpart. These are the, the results on the real-world data instance segmentation and a few qualitative results. Finally, I will show some results from disentangling the instances from the clutter. Here, given a depth image, the idea is to do instance segmentation and then tweak the post code associated with the instances. So given a depth image as input, this is how it looks like if we change the rotation part of the post code associated with one of the instances, or if we do translations and rotations. As you can see, the post space that InSegan learns is continuous and smooth, and it also achieves clear segmentations of instances. Thank you. For any questions, please feel free to email us. The data and code for the paper will be made available shortly. Thank you so much.